Welcome back everyone, Exark Absolute here. How's everybody doing? I am back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. And I created this house just um, for the winter season. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is pretty nice. I mean, Christmas theme. I know that looks really bad, but <laughs> I love this house. And we have a very nice view over here with all the ice spikes over here and this is something weird that I noticed it's just a perfect uh, square-ish kind of generation of snow uh, but today I will be showing you a tutorial involving locks and I want to be showing you how to create a realistic lock now Let's say you're walking into your house and someone comes in and notices you have this. A very nice room full of pictures and armor stands and your favorite weapons. And you think, ooh, that looks pretty nice. Let's move over. Let's go on and continue on with this house. But what they don't know is that there is something magical. That if you do this, <gasps> what happened here? What happened here? Wait a minute, what's going on over here? Oh my goodness, I have a secret room that contains all the sacred items like Eyes of Ender, Wither Skulls, a Wither Star, I mean a Nether Star, Frost Walker, Ender Pearls, and of course the Diamonds. And then you're like, okay, let's move over, let's uh, hide it, so you do that. And it is gone. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this realistic combination lock in Minecraft, and it is actually very simple. So, let's move over to the next map. Alright, I hope you guys remember this map because this brings good memories of one of the things that I did back then. Now, anyways, <laughs> to make this combination lock, you need several things. You need an item frame, you need a redstone competitor, you need some redstone, and whatever item you need to use, as well as any kind of a redstone door or secret door that you plan to use it on. Now, what I used or what I showed you earlier was a secret automatic door using pistons. And if you know how to do them, it's basically like this. You place him like that, and then place another one around here. You just do this, and then just bring it up, just like that. Let me show you real quick how this is done. Uh, bring it back here, just like that. There we go, there we go, and then we bring one more here. Use the redstone repeater around like this. Make it four ticks, just like that. And then you have to bring it back down by here, just like that. And then do it once again, one here. And I think I messed it up, so I need to be like that. There we go. There we go. Perfecto. Just uh, add it like this. Just making a quick showcase on how to do this automatic door in case you guys are interested. So you do that. There we go. And. Last but not least, just close it like that, and then try it like this. So using this thing, oops, oops, uh, you need to do it like that. Nope, I messed up somewhere. Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's not with a redstone torch, it's with a lever. Just like this. And that's how it works. As you can see, that is the automatic door that you can do. Now, my version was not using a lever, but using an item frame. And the way this works with an item frame is that you place it like this, you place the item frame, and then you place a door. But this will not work. You need a redstone competitor to make this work. So I'm gonna push it a little bit higher, I mean a forward, just like this. Place one more redstone and then a redstone competitor place one wood block here and then this turn it on and then as you can see it is on because it has something here there's something in the item frame and the competitor is on so now I press it again you will see that one redstone has been activated I press it again two are activated and if I keep going it will keep going active until I reset 
and then it turns off that's how this works and you can use it on many many builds it is all up to you so let me just try it once again just like that let me actually try it one more time like this so in here only one activates and you may see this often but the reason is because the redstone power is not reaching everywhere as you can see right here this redstone is not getting the power that's why the one at the bottom is not turning on so you need to do it one more time and then there we go it is active and then all you need to do is place it in any position you wish and there we go you can leave it like that no one will know the difference and let's say you want to open it or you do this there we go and there we go and if you want to close it do it one more time just like that and it is closed that's how you do it you can do it on many other things such as this you can make a regular world or a regular lock just like that and just place it like this so let me just uh, do it real quick place the item frame like that all right so let's say you want to open the door all you need to do is this and then if you want to close it you make it go back like that and it's gonna be closed yeah I forgot about one of the things on the doors is that you need to use one of the redstone torches but yes you basically do this and then you place a torch right here and it should turn off and that is the only way to open this door or close it as you can see it is now closed and you can do it with many other things all right here's another example as you can see I used a trapdoor and a dispenser and I'm making the dispenser act like a storage like a safe that nobody can access unless it is me and I know the password of this uh, iron door I mean iron trap door and all I need to do is do it like that there we go it is open I can access it I can use it to store or take out whatever I have and then if I want to close it I just reset the pattern and it's gonna be like that so as you can see here it is once again I use a uh, redstone compatter I use some redstone and at the end I just used a redstone torch in order for this to work let me just try to open it like this there we go it turns off and that is because the redstone competitor checks the item frame and how many ticks or how many rotations has it done in order to give the power to the redstone and yeah that's how it works and as you can see it is on many different builds so this is closed and on this one to close this super door all I need to do is that and uh, this is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more tutorials, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.